a little bit closer. Yes, sir. Good seeing you guys. Thank you. Senator Jack Reed, again, gracious enough to join us to discuss foreign policy. Uh, to those who aren't aware, he is the chair of the Senate Armed Services Committee. He's a senior senator from Rhode Island. As I like to remind him, he is number six in terms of seniority. Uh, an auspicious day, not because of the normal storm and drang of in politics and outrage and things like that, but today, Finland became, I believe, the 31st member of NATO. It, it, talk to us about the importance of that, the significance, and also maybe a little bit of the challenge that represents to uh, Mr. Putin. Well, Finland has uh, joined NATO, which is a great day for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It, it represents a strengthening of NATO. Finland is a very capable uh, military force and also an economic force. And it has a long border with Russia, and so now the Russians have to be more concerned because NATO extends uh, all the way from almost the Arctic Circle down to uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. And NATO is unified now because of its uh, actions in the Crimea and Ukraine. So we're in a situation where this is uh, strengthening NATO and putting more pressure on Russia. Uh, this is going to literally double the size of NATO's border with Russia, which, of course, from a de defense perspective, as you point out, represents a level of unanimity that may not have ever existed in, in recent modern history. Uh, Finland notoriously played the neutrality game, maybe not quite as well as Switzerland, but played the neutrality game in World War II. Well, uh, Ash, what happened right before World War II is Russia invaded. The Soviet Union invaded Finland. Uh, Finland fought a, a, a valiant fight, in fact, really stopped the Russian forces. And then they, they lost territory, but since that time, the Finns thought that the best course of action was to remain neutral, but to be uh, on the defensive uh, against Russia, expecting that they might try to charge, attack again. Now, uh, they've thrown aside the neutrality. They're part of NATO. Uh, they've always squarely been against any expansion by the Soviet Union and now by Russia. And I think uh, they've strengthened NATO, and now Russia has more problems than they had before. You know, we, I always touch on this one issue, and that's the provocative nature of NATO expansion, if in fact you're looking through the prism of Vladimir Putin's eyes. Um, it, it, do we, do we continue to worry that there's always that one step too far? It, does Putin potentially use this as an excuse uh, to accelerate a more direct conflict against the United States? What, what are your thoughts? I think the entrance of Finland into NATO complicates his decision-making. And also, I think it's a very strong signal to him that because of his aggression in Ukraine, he has complicated his uh, geopolitical situation and now people are not sort of reluctant about joining NATO. They are strongly trying to get in, including mm -hmm. Sweden. So we have a situation where he he went off and thought he could gain a quick victory. Now he's gained a more uh, devoted opponent. Final question: You are, in fact, given your experience, I believe, the 82nd Airborne uh, with the United States Army, boots on the ground, literally, or in the sky. Uh, from a strategic standpoint. Does this, what does this do in terms of tank warfare and the type of warfare that now is closed off uh, with that type of Finnish border? I mean, it, does it really focus almost into a funnel? Uh, well, um, the terrain in that area is not the best for tank warfare. Right. Uh, and the Finns have been very aggressive, though, in small unit activities, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the russo finnish War before World War II. Their uh, small groups of Finnish skiers right. moved throughout the forest and inflicted significant damage. In a way, it's reminiscent of what happened in the first in the attack in the Ukraine, mm -hmm. where heavy Russian units attacked and they were beaten back decisively for many, many months by better fighters and people who knew the terrain. Excellent. Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much oh, for sure. your time. Thank you. I'll see you later, bro. <laughs>